the Apollo Hospital uh, neurosurgeons cut through my skull and tried to find something and found nothing. <laughs> Total empty. So they gave up and just patched it up. Here I am in Delhi with a patched up skull, but no damaged brain. Sadhguru has just had a very life-threatening situation. Uh, he had a headache for the last four weeks. The headache was very severe and he was, you know, ignoring the headache and doing all because he wanted to do all his normal activities. He was resuming all his functions, all his meetings. Uh, he even carried out the Maharshivratri function on 8th of March, despite the fact that he was in agonizing pain. He somehow ignored the pain and he continued with all his meetings. The pain really became severe on 15th of March. And that's when he consulted me and we knew immediately that there was something sinister happening, the way the pain was worsening. And uh, this was around four o'clock. I insisted that we have an MRI, but you know, he had a impo very important meeting at six o'clock. He's so focused on his meetings. You know, he told me, doctor, I've never in 40 years of my life, I've never missed a meeting and I can't miss this six o'clock meeting. Somehow we could actually persuade him and we got an MRI done. And uh, the MRI actually showed, you know, that he had uh, massive bleeding in the brain. It was outside the brain and below the uh, bone. There was massive two time bleeding, some which had happened about three weeks back. One that had happened maybe two to three days back. But, you know, we insisted that he gets admitted immediately, but because of his commitments, he just went ahead with his meeting at six o'clock without anybody getting to know that he was that unwell. Next day, he had a very important uh, India Today conclave, which with a lot of painkillers and sedation, he still attended that and he, you know, it was such a marvelous interview he gave. And we were surprised, you know, that with so much of pain, so much of painkillers, so much of sedation, he could attend and, you know, complete that meeting. 17th morning, however, he really got very unwell. He became very drowsy while talking. He was, you know, just dozing off. He had weakness of the left leg and we had to rush him to hospital. And even at that time, he would never complain of pain. He would just say, doctor, I'm a little unwell. But that morning was the first time he said, doc, I think the time has come to do what you want to do. And that's the first time he agreed, you know, that we could go ahead with the surgery. So 17th, we admitted him when we got the CT scan there was life-threatening swelling in the brain. The brain was shifted to one side and he had become very dull, very confused and the left leg had started to get weak and we had to undergo an emergency surgery on him on 17th itself. Uh, we could get him off the ventilator uh, post-surgery and um, he has actually done extremely well, much beyond our expectation. And, you know, we, we were joking with him that, you know, we have done what we could but you are healing yourself, you know. So we are actually seeing, you know, the kind of improvement we are seeing is, is beyond our expectation. He is now extremely well. He is now back to his normal self. All his brain, body and vital parameters are normal and he's making a steady progress. Um, I think he's probably healing himself more than what we can do for him. The team from Apollo Hospital, including neurologists, neurosurgeons, ICU care physicians, uh, all the nursing staff, OT technicians, they all worked very diligently to ensure that we achieve the best possible outcome for Sadhguru.